Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's Boxing Day 2020 and I was out first thing this morning just to buy some essential food. I know we guys are all on lockdown. I totally understand that, but I needed to get food because my fridge had nothing left after cooking Christmas dinner. So I just went really quickly out to a local supermarket um, to pick up some food. Um, now we're fully stocked, which is awesome. Um, but I did pick up a couple of extra little things just when I was there. I saw a few little bargains and I just grabbed them. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly just a, a quick video of some of the little bargains that I got today. Um, I was only out for an hour. Um, it was a quick um, zip around the shop and then straight back home and um, because again guys we are in lockdown so I just wanted to show you guys really quickly just some of the little things I picked up today um we eat from paper plates quite a lot um especially if we're having what I call finger food um so we definitely needed some paper plates we got um two packs of 30 these little paper plates are a really reasonable size they're recyclable which we love um and there's 30 paper plates in this okay guys, so just to let you know this um all these items came from a little shop called bargain buys they have excellent little things that you don't get anywhere else um the shop was um inside the shopping center that i was at picking up my food so i didn't go anywhere else unnecessarily um but these little paper plates are uh 23 um centimeters they're really useful really really handy saves on dishes so i picked up two packs of those guys i don't know if you can hear in my voice today I picked up a cold um over um, Christmas in Northern Ireland it is exceptionally cold and probably not as cold as some other countries but it is cold um, it has been very rainy um, and a lot of people have a cold um, it is definitely not COVID um, just to let you guys know um, but you will hear in my voice that I do have a cold um, I picked up these clean and shine oh guys I don't know if I told you the price of these these were only a pound a pack I think that's an awesome price um, I picked up these clean and shine toilet blocks. They are clean, fresh with every flush. Um, it's an extra value pack. Um, these just pop. You just take them directly out of the packet and pop them into your toilet cistern. They're really good for freshening up your bathroom, freshening your toilet. And they do keep it really clean. Um, so this is um, a six plus two free pack. This was 89p, which I think is an awesome bargain. And I love to have these um, around my house. I have two bathrooms. Um, so it's always good when you get um, an extra value pack. Um, and for the price point, I think they were pretty awesome. Okay, I picked up these adorable little Santa sacks. Every year, come close to Christmas, I'm always hunting for Santa sacks and I never seem to get any. So I picked these up. These were down to 50p. And there are three Santa sacks. I only need two, but it's always good to have another one. And they're just super cute. They are plastic um, and I will reuse these. So I do tend to reuse my stuff. Um, every Christmas I reuse bags. I reuse gift wrap if I can save it. Um, and I do reuse these sacks. My last set broke and I couldn't get a set this year. So when I saw them on offer, I just decided pick them up they're 50p that's that's so good i love the fact that you can write on them that is adorable um and i love their merry christmas from santa look at that happy happy santa um so for 50p for a pack of three i thought that was a pretty decent bargain um let's see what else we got christmas themed um i picked up these cute little um these cute little um christmas cards it's a pack of 24 it's got two different styles i think only two styles i'm totally fine with that i go through a lot of christmas cards um i generally tend to buy people at work and and people in my area and then i've got my family so i use a lot of christmas cards when i see them on offer i always pick them up these are 24 um the retail the recommended retail price is 2.99 which i think is probably still okay for um 24 cards they sell them um for 99p but i got them for 49 so they were reduced um i will put these away until next year um and i definitely i go through a ton of cards so that's awesome um i picked up oh this was so cute 
I couldn't help but pick this little um, key ring. It's a magic cube and it is Santa, Santa, Santa. This was adorable. This little item was 10p. Um, I maybe should have picked up a couple more, but I just picked up the one to see what it was like. Let's open it up. And oh, this is, oh, this is super cute. I don't know why it's a magic key ring. But it is a little Rubik's Cube keyring, moves really swiftly. That's so awesome. Um, and it's got all different pictures on each side. I'll show you guys. Love the fact that it's a keyring. Um, we've got an elf, we've got a Rudolph or a um reindeer, we've got Santa, and we've got a snowman, some presents. This is my favorite picture, and we've got a Christmas tree. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's cute, adorable, really small. Um, it'll go in as a little stocking filler for next year, but I've put it in. I always do things like this. I always put them in the wrong way around so it looks silly. Let's pop it in. Let's pop it in with Santa's face. Santa is super cute. Um, so that is cute and adorable. Um, and for Tempe, why not just pick that up? I love these little rainbow drops. Um, they stop me eating a lot of really heavy um, chocolate and sweets. Um, you get nine bags for the price of seven, so you're getting a bigger um, a bigger pack. These were only a pound. And if you guys have not tasted Swizzles rainbow drops, they are simply puffed um, puffed rice with a sugar coating. The um, the energy or the the calories in this are substantially lower than you're going to get um, from eating um, chocolate or other sweeties. So I like to have these around if I want a snack and I am trying to be good. Um, so per 10 gram portion is only 37 calories. I think that's pretty awesome. And I think the bag is something like 10 grams each. Um, so I can have a nice little sugary snack and it's only going to it's only going to use 37 calories, which is awesome because you can work that off really easy. And um, so I, I bought four packs of these. I'm only showing you guys one um, one pack of them. But let me show you what they look like inside. So you get, oh my gosh, you get a ton of packs. Um, this is the little pack. What grams are these each? Yeah, guys. So um, for 10 grams, this whole pack is only costing me 37 calories. And these are great if your kids are going to school and you want to pop them in a nice little sugary treat. But it's not going to um, it's not going to be heavy in calories or make them bloated or that kind of things. I think these are so tasty and so nice. Then And they're also free from any artificial colorings and they're suitable for vegetarians. So these are pretty awesome. They're always a staple in my house and I love them. And you're getting... How many packs? Seven packs um, because you're getting two free. So I think that is pretty awesome. We'll pop that over there and pop our little running out of space. Um, guys, these are not healthy snacks, but they are so nice. These are wacky sticks. They're cola. Um, they have a cola licorice on the outside, which I love. I love licorice. And they have like a creamy filling in the center. These are so tasty. And sometimes I just want um, a little sugary snack. Um, you get a ton of product here. These are only 79p, which I think is also um, also very good value. It's not telling me the weight. Um, but, you, I mean, you, get, you do get a fair amount. These are really, really great. Um, and they're suitable for vegetarians. And I really, really like that. And they're halal certified. So that's pretty awesome. They're made by B, BB Toes. BB2. Um, I've had these so many times. Um, they do come in um, strawberry and I like the strawberry too, but the cola is just delicious because the um, flavor of the, co um, the cool cola is really, really um, is strong. So I really like these. So that's another sugary snack. Obviously do not eat them all at once. Guys, let me show you a couple of other little things that I picked up. Um, I probably have mentioned this a couple of times on my channel i buy throughout the year um toys that are on sale so i can make packs up to give them to the charities um i make packs i make packs throughout the whole year um my busiest time is obviously christmas i make up a ton of packs um i think this year in total i gave around the 80 pack mark 
um, to a charity um, to give out for people who need it uh, um, at Christmas. Um, but I do make them throughout the year for people who, who need it and have children's birthdays and things like that, just so that they have possibly somewhere to go to get some help. Um, anyway, so anytime I see um, toys or books, activities that are on sale or a really good price, I pick them up, I store them, I make the packs and then I contact the people who really graciously come pick it up um, and give it to who, whomever needs it. Um, so I picked up these little books. Um, these are the first book that I have is a Transformers activity annual. I loved the look of this. I think I really like Transformers. Um, so inside this book, and this little book cost me 59p, which I thought was excellent because it was half price. But you get um, the story of some of the... Um, I'm trying to think what you call these guys. And I love Transformers too. The Decepticons are the bad guys. The You guys tell me in the comments below. I've completely lost it. But I love the fact that it takes you through the story of the um, Transformers. The good Transformers. Is it the Octobots? The Autobots? I think so. It's the Autobots. Um, and it takes you through the story. And it's a lovely graphic novel. You've also got activities inside where you can color them in. I think, does it have anything else? Um, it has puzzles. And I just think this is a nice way add-in. So we got our first annual. And we also got another Transformers um, activity annual. Different color. I picked up a number of these. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys these ones. Um, and I would probably give both these activity books away in the same pack because, oh, just because they're super cute. So you've got all of your activities, stories, all about the um, Transformers. So they're super cute and adorable. These are made, um, including Transformers 4. Is that the newest one? I'm not sure, but they're made by um, Pedigree, and I just thought they were really good books. They're only 59p, and that is pretty awesome. Star Wars, who does not like Star Wars? I picked up this Star Wars sticker pad. These little sticker pads were on offer at Bargain Buys at 25p. I thought that was a, a bargain, and anybody who loves Star Wars is going to like this. You have got tons of stickers. You've got some really cool artwork. And then you've got your scenes where you can put your stickers on and create your own Star Wars scene. Completely unique. Um, and you can put them anywhere you like. So I love these little sticker pads. Um, guys, I was in Star Bargains mm, probably a while ago. And they had a pack of sticker, uh, just a sticker pack on its own. So what my intention is, is to put a sticker pack with this. Um, just to attach it to the front so that they have more stickers to make more scenes um, and put that in with another pack. So 25p. And guys, the sticker packs were also 25p, but you get something like 300 stickers in the pack. So that's going to be totally awesome. So these are adorable and cute and I will put those away and then I will make up some um, some sticker packs. Let me just show you a couple of other little things that we got. Um, I have bought these before. Um, these were a pound. I think that's full price, but I'm totally fine with that because they are super adorable. These are um, Let's Dough Capsules. These are Cars, Disney licensed product. So it's a Disney Pixar Cars. Inside this little pack, you're getting a mold and play with dough. You get There are six characters to collect. You get three sets of dough, you get one dough mold in the shape of a car, and the car is a surprise. You get a dough cutter, you get one press mold, and you also get one coin. Um, and I just think these are super cute. I love the fact that they're a surprise, you don't know which car you're going to get. Um, and I just think they make a little nice addition. Again, guys, I picked up a number of these. Um, they will go away to put in the charity packs. Um, and I'm super happy about that. Um, I do like to pick up things when I see them. Um, and I can't always afford to just go and buy a ton of things in, in bulk. So I do try to spread the cost throughout the year, make up packs throughout the year. Um, and then it means it makes me feel like I'm always helping. So 
I think they're adorable. I don't understand, but it always seems to go to this side. That's weird. Oh my gosh. These are so, so far back. It doesn't look like it in the camera, but I'm stretching really, really hard. So guys, um, the next little thing that I got is this Disney Pixar Finding Dory. It's a magic mirror coloring. These were normally, I mean, I bought these um, on offer at a pound a long while ago, but I made so many packs for Christmas, I had none left. Um, I picked up a, color, a couple of these. These were back down to a pound. I think the original price was two pound, two pound fifty, around that price point. But I'm super stoked that I got them back at a pound, so I bought a number of these. I'm just going to pop this one open and we'll have a look at what's inside. I think, oh sorry guys, I hit the camera. Um, I did show these on a video a while back, um, but I, I didn't open the box to find out what we got inside and I was kind of disappointed about that. I think you guys might have been disappointed too. So we're going to rectify that right here. Okay, so you get your lovely little box and inside the box you get this pack and we'll just open the pack. Um, I love the fact that I can reseal this again and, and use it. So let's have a look at what we got. So inside the pack, we've got these Finding um, Dory color pens, um, markers, um, in all these beautiful little colors, very rainbow-esque. We have got our little mirror sheet, mirror, mirror sheet. Um, and you pop your, does this go at the bottom of the top? I think this goes at, hmm, what does that say? I do not know. Um, you've got your little feet that will hold it. Let's pop those right here. Let's create a bit of space. I'll pop those back. And then you have all of these sheets. Um, you have these sheets of Finding Dory um, pictures. And it says, plug the mirror Plug the mirror in the stand as shown above, which is what we've done. And then we put one of our sheets here. If we do, I think it's like this. And then you've got inside, you've got lots of A5. I want to say these are A5 sheets. Okay, we do that. And then... Says lay the white sheet here and draw the outline. Oh, I can guys, you, you can't actually see that. It's because of the light. Um, but I can actually see the reflection of should it go this way? See if you guys can see it better. Oh, you can't, but I can. You can actually see the reflection of the fish, although it looks mirrored, so it looks the other way of this little picture so that is super cute i didn't even know that that's how cute and adorable this was um but i'm pretty happy with that and i'm sure that anybody who um receives this in a little pack will be really happy and um, guys my packs i don't really talk about them much i don't think <laughs> i hope i don't and um, but my packs usually consist <clears throat> of about i try to mix it up so i usually try to put four or five toys per pack um, and then I try to put some candy because it's not Christmas if you don't get candy so I try to put some candy um, onto into my packs um, and then I decorate them really prettily because I there's no point just giving well I think there's no point just giving a pack um, and not I guess put the effort into making it look super pretty and um, so I put a lot of work into making the packs look really really pretty um, and it just it makes me happy so um, yep this will definitely go into one of my packs um, and for a pound I mean I think that is pretty awesome the next little thing that I got guys I didn't pick this this wasn't on sale and I'm totally fine with that um, these are jigsaws I love a good jigsaw this is a little 3D 
football puzzle. It has seven slot in pieces and 45 other pieces. What I like about these 3D puzzles are that you get the flat surface and then you make it, um, then it becomes 3D because you have the bigger pieces that you can slot in. And it's just more fun, it's more interactive. These are made by graphics. I have bought a ton of these in the past to put into packs, um, into giveaways. They're just so much fun. Um, then they're definitely well worth the money. Um, but a pound, full price at a pound, I think is an awesome, awesome value. Okay, guys, last thing in this haul is unfortunately something I'm not going to be able to put into a pack. This is reduced because it is a food item. Um, there will be food, um, fruit snacks inside this pack that are not going to wait until next year. But I picked it up anyway. The recommended retail price on this is $1.99. I got it for a pound. Inside this, I'm going to rip this, of course. Um, this is a ooh, fun and fruity action set. I'm just trying to pop this off. Um, it is made by Disney. It is frozen. I love frozen. It's got no added sugar. It's 100% natural. And it is made from real fruit. Um, I decided to pick this up because it was on offer and it looked adorably cute. So we're just going to go ahead and rip right into this because I'm so interested to find out what this is. Sorry guys, again, I have this really terrible habit of constantly hitting my camera. I do apologize guys. So inside this pack you're getting um, three little items. Oh cute. The first thing it's taped on but that's okay because it's a shiny um, it's a shiny little button I love these safe um, buttons there's no pins they're just really um, thick plastic which means you can slot it right over the top of your top or blouse or um, whatever you're wearing and I love the fact that um, nobody can hurt themselves because it's not a metal pin but we have Elsa who is stunning. These are licensed Disney products. That button is way too cute. Oh my gosh. We have an Olaf. Um, I think this is an Olaf figurine. Olaf is adorable. I think he is too cute. And he's got his goofy little smile. That is cute. Um, and then we have our little surprise capsule. Elsa looks stunning i don't know where anna is um in this pack but we have our let's go ahead and open our surprise capsule i hope we get a toy in here as well um i love getting capsules with toys I really love the colors this is totally frozen we've got the purple and the blue what do we get inside okay what did we get inside inside we got, let's put these down first, we got our checklist. Um, so inside these little packs are bouncy balls and these are all of the balls that you can collect. Oh, they have different, is that upside down? Yes, of course it is. Um, you have different little um, capsules you can collect. So I just, I got the Elsa one and I'm totally fine with that. So inside we get a set of stickers. How pretty are those stickers? We have Anna, Olaf, Stefan, I want to say Stefan, and Elsa. So pretty. We have a cutesy Olaf bouncy ball in i love the fact that they put the picture on both sides it is cute 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 and then inside you get a little pack of fun and fruity um guys i'm not i don't believe yeah i'm not a lover of these little fruity snacks um i'm just going to pop them out so this is the little fruity snacks that you get i'm not a huge lover of these they are Mm. they're okay they taste a little they're hard but they're they taste a little like raisins and I don't mind raisins but I just it's not what I expect when I open these to get 
raisin flavored things um, but they're fine I'm sure someone will eat them. Um, I love the little stickers. I love the bouncy ball. I think Olaf is cute, 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 cute. Love the little button. It is so, so pretty. So guys, that's my Boxing Day 2020 haul. If you like this video, please, please, please smash that thumbs up for me. Um, if you guys are not yet a subscriber and would like to join us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget about the notification bell. Guys, Please stay safe. Please take care of each other. And I'm going to catch you next time. See you later, everybody. Bye.